by 2020, this uh, amount will be multiplied by 10. But the thing is, when you produce, uh, the data produced cannot be, uh, uh, is not usable before being uh, treated or processed. Uh, Sometimes the algorithms and machine cannot uh, process this data and, be, and it has to be done uh, manually. But the thing is, it's a really huge amount and uh, you cannot automatize or internalize this, uh, this, uh, this process. Uh, besides, uh, it's really expensive to do it in turn and uh, there is a really low aided value doing this kind of task. Uh, you also have a risk of burnout from the employees because those tasks are really, are really, really repetitive. So we are here to bring you the crowdsourcing, the crowdsourcing solution through Full Factory. So what is Full Factory? Full Factory is a crowdsourcing marketplace specialized in microtasking and the platform allows our clients to outsource their project towards 50,000 uh, people. Uh, concretely, you, our client, give us their data. We divided it thousands of microtasks and we ask our contributors to process those microtasks in the same time. So it can be really uh, helpful for our clients because uh, they reduce the loss of time they can focus on their core business, and besides, uh, they can rely on human uh, person when the machine reaches its limits. So we are talking about reliability because, as I just said, you can rely on the, on human when the machine can go further. Uh, cost control because our clients knows uh, the cost of their project before they launch it on the platform. We are talking about scalability because they can grow uh, the team uh, which is working on the project on demand. Uh, we set up a few uh, levers, uh, automatic levers, in order to assure uh, and maintain a top quality. And we are talking about snapshot because thanks to the API, uh, a project can be uh, launched and done uh, in a really few time. So uh, here are some of our use cases. So basic use cases as uh, data cleansing, uh, panel, phoning, uh, writing. But the thing is, it's, uh, we can call out 50,000 people and there are human beings with human skills. So we can, uh, you, we can do a lot of different uh, types of projects. Uh, just for example, we worked on OCR case. Uh, one of our clients gave us the PDF document his algorithm couldn't read and we asked our contributor to transcribe the handwritten documents. Or for the data cleansing, one of our clients wanted uh, the addresses of his database uh, written the same way as a number, way, uh, zip code and city with no variation. And uh, he asked our contributors to uh, check if the addresses were in the right format and to correct it if there wasn't. So uh, the thing is, uh, the question you can ask yourself is, what would you do if you could ask 50,000 uh, people to help you? Uh, we set up a few, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, yes, so why is uh, the digital labor useful for the, the data science? Because Digital labor uh, solved the issues raised by the 3V of big data. We can put a volume, a volume of people in front of a volume, a volume of data. The thing is, uh, if you have thousands and thousands of information to treat, it's not a big deal if you can ask thousands of thousands uh, of people to do it in the same time. We put the variety of the data in front of the variety of the skills because once again the data has to be structured to be um, used by the machines and our uh, contributor as they are human can have human skills to structure this data before uh, you can use it and in order to manage the velocity of the data we set up the API and thanks to the API a project can be posted and done in a minute and um, you can ask our contributors kind of on demand whenever you need them. 
So, uh, what is the impact on uh, data science? The first value proposition is that uh, you can, you have an incredible large team uh, <coughs> here and disponible to create that uh, learning data sets in a really few times. And besides, uh, you have the human fallback. So when your algorithm is not uh, is not confident confident enough uh, enough, you can rely on human people. So we this is an example. We picked up one of our uh, a case we already worked on the sentiment analysis. So imagine you have. Uh, a thousand of verba teams and you will need to, to know if they are positive, negative or neutral for you. Uh, you have two solutions or two cases. The first one, you ask the algorithm and the algorithm, uh, it's okay. It provides you uh, good answers, uh, trustable answers and you can use those results. But uh, the algorithm can also doubt of the answer, and uh, now you now you will need a human to be sure uh, if it's a pros, a cons, or a neutral. So what we do is thanks to a full factory and the API, those poor quality uh, results are sent to our contributor. We call them la full, and they will judge if it's uh, positive, negative, or neutral in a really few time and the 100% good quality will be reached. Uh, besides, we provide uh, a new way of, um, for the machine learning because thanks to uh, the answer of the fool, you can feed, feed the algorithm with continuous learning. So that's why that's what the, that's what we do uh, at Refactory, and why it's uh, useful for uh, data science. Uh, so this is an overview of the digital uh, labor from 2005 and its vision for the next decades. Uh, it appears uh, it's from false. It appears in 2005 uh, from a finding. This new way of work from a platform, uh, an internet platform, was really uh, helpful in terms of management, a loss of, uh, a reduction of the cost, and a reduction of the loss of time. So the digital labor became a real good, uh, a real new uh, important trend, and uh, it won't stop. We are now he uh, heading to the automation uh, trend, and be, uh, for the exact same reason. The thing is, uh, we noticed that ask uh, machines and learn them how to work and think like human uh, would be really useful regarding to uh, the issues uh, I just told you, management, um, uh, loss of uh, reduction of the cost and reduction of the loss of time. So uh, even if a lot of jobs would remain uh, to uh, humans, more and more jobs will be done by the machine in the next decades. So that was just uh, an overview. And uh, finally, as we are working about human task force, we need to talk about ethicals. So at Full Factory, uh, we saw that this new way of work raised uh, some issues, and uh, we set up a few rules. We are talking about parallelism because uh, our clients are assessed by our fuller. We uh, we want to know if they are um, satisfied uh, from the, by the, the project uh, they have to do. And uh, our fleur can be blacklisted if they don't respect the rules. So they know they have to do a good work if they want to stay on the platform. Uh, we are talking about limitation because uh, Full Factory wants to provide an extra income so we, we limit the fees at 3,000 uh, euros a year. And uh, finally, and maybe it's the most important, we want to have enough contributors to realize the project of our clients, but it's also really important to uh, have enough clients to give uh, the work to our contributors so they can be satisfied. So we, uh, we check 
that the offer and the demand are really balanced, and that's why uh, the inscription as a fuller as are closed for now. Uh, in order to promote this new way of work, we uh, have the help of the French Association of Crowdsourcing. So I we count of them uh, on them to. Uh, promote the crowdsourcing through publication, meeting, conferences. And besides, uh, because it's a new way of work, we need a new uh, solution, uh, and we need the AFCS to provide new solutions to the le legislator, such as um, statement, statement of uh, extra incomes, for example. Mm -hmm. So thank you for your attention, and if you have any question. Questions?